Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanics Simulator 2018. Right, we're looking at a very sad Mazda RX-7. Apparently, it's got some problem. Right, apparently it's its filters doing. Car is hard to control with mass, most likely. Suspension relators and steering that one. Fix any running gear problems. Yeah, it looks like it's mainly suspension. Oh, we've got to paint it. And we've got to fix some body panels. Look at the state it's in. Uh, yeah. It certainly needs some body panels. Right. I think we'll go and move that. Take it onto the test path. Oh, it can't start. Do I can't start? Let's get on the ramp or lifter. Take a look. Why it can't start? Hmm. Got. Oh, it's got an OBD port. It looks like we might be having to change the steering rack anyway. Uh, everything there is good. Everything there is good. Now then, why can't you start? In there, there must be a fuel related problem. Yep, fuel filter stopping it from starting. Right, where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, yes, I've seen better days. Right, I don't think I've got one in the warehouse, but I'll have a look. Got fuel pumps, but not filters. Okay. Uh, where are you? There we go, one fuel filter. And if we fit this, it should start. It does. Right, let's get rid of that fuel filter. Yes, we do want to proceed. I didn't think you were going to start then. Ah, the brakes are pretty even at the front. You're even at the back. work oh the back's the worst is it can that yeah right right I think we'll do the body panels first what we need a hood trunk left headlight turret front window right no they don't repair so we're gonna need a hood windscreen or windshield
What else we got to get? Got them trunk. Right. So we need a bit. We need a windscreen or windshield and headlights. Left headlight there, left rear there, and front window. Yeah, so I'm bits done. And spray it factory colour. It's worth it in that state, but anyway, what the customer wants. Then we get on with the suspension work. I think this is going to be pointless. Strange enough, it fixed that. Right. Oil filter and air filter needs doing. Right, let's get these filters done. Now, these are the clip B A's, not B's. Sometimes you get clip B's on the air filter. Depend on the car. But mainly, get it on the ignition dis distributor. Right, rotate, which is for rotary engine. Right, we need that, and that. That's all the filters done. We found lots of them problems, but we didn't find much control in it, so. Hmm. I say one's the steering rack. Look at the state it's in. Out of the way. So we'll deal with that. Running sway link car, like so.
Right, is that all them parts? Except for one. Right, I wonder what it is. Not missing anything here. Unless it's one of the back components. Let's sort of still no items to fix. Right, so what do we need? We don't need you. Right, so we need a sway link arm A, add tie rod, inner tie rod, and steering rack. Inner tie rod, add tie rod, rod. Uh, a, steering rack. on this side so I'm thinking it's the back which causes us the problems in this section it's got to be the back it's got that because there's still some parts missing at the back so I would say that's where the problems lie. Yeah, there's a dry shaft there. Quite a lot of red here. That's all this side mainly. Let's see. No. So then we want the dry shaft out, still burn out, and the hub assembly's got to come off. Alright, looks like we've got to strip all this down and replace it all on this side. Or repair and replace where necessary. Bush in there. Right. Oh, wheel bearings gone there. It looks roughly the same on this side. It's the other side, so we'll just strip it all down.
Right, that's everything done. Hopefully we've got everything all now. Yeah, we got the one that was missing, it was a sway bar really. I think we've got all these bits now. Yep. Right. I think there's gonna be a lot of don't need you, don't need you. Right. Rear axle housing A is me two of them and two drive shafts. Two shock ups. We need quite a bit, actually. So we need everything for the rear suspension. Right, okay. Me and Nukas and Audi, two of them. Two are there. See what we've got. But right, we've got them. Right, we need rear sway bar B and two hooks. And then we'll sort the rubber bushings out. Right, we've got them. B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rubber bushings. Might as well place that one that's good. That one can go. Right, three, six, eight small rubber bushings. Two of them, two of them. Two of them. Right, that's everything purchased. Right, that's case of reassembling what we just took apart.
that side done? Right, that should be everything done. Go over there. Yeah, looks like we have. Okay, jump back down on the ground. Right. So we'll check, make sure we haven't missed anything. We got all there, got all there. Yep, we got all them done. All I'm done, all I'm done. Right, we've completed the job. The customer is going to pay us $11,931 for uh, all the work. There we go. On its way. That's the customer. And now we've got an empty workshop. So I think that'd be a good point to leave it there, folks. If you like this video give a thumbs up subscribe if you wish and click the bell for notifications store thanks for watching until next time happy repairing